Hey guys, I'm here back for another uh, Brow Edit tutorial. And what we're going to be covering today is adding sound effects and how to configure their parameters and just some tips about adding sound effects to a map that you should be aware of. And that's about it. It's pretty simple to do, it's not hard, just like adding effects. And it really gives you that extra natural, uh, that natural feeling and, and uh, I don't know, illusion of just you're in that zone, whether it be chirping bird sounds, uh, it could be in a Morrock sandstorm, or just if you're by like a, if you're by a lake, you can hear the water, the water noises of the moving, you know, just the movement of it, and the splashes of it. So it really gives you that extra environmental idea of like the sounds added to your map. So how do you actually add a sound? The first thing to do is go to Edit Mode, Sound Edit, Sounds Edit, select that. Now you'll find that if you open the attached map to the YouTube video, which is our, our sound tutorial map, you should be able to open it and view all the sounds if I've already added. So it's a good reference point to follow up with this video. So now that you're, you've opened this map or any of your own maps, let's get started about adding the sound. So now that you're in sound edit mode, let's actually place a sound in the map. Hold left control or right control, then left click mouse button, and you should see a sound select menu pop up. Now, in this particular menu, menu, it has a whole variety of sounds, from you know monsters, the da uh, monster damage sounds to monster die sounds, monster walking sounds. But who cares about that? What we're focusing on in this tutorial is ambient noises, so things that gives you that environmental change. So whether it be birds tripping again, sand sounds, it could be bug sounds in like Payon, whatever. So to do that, scroll down and find S E. So if you see S E, these are all your background noises. So here's like in water sound, water sounds, water wave sounds, Morrock sounds, whatever. So if we chose Prontera bird sound, just hit that. So let's just select that one. SC underscore Pront bird sound 01. Click the play button just to get a, a preview of what it sounds like to make sure that this is the one you want. Then now, how, now that we're satisfied with it, let's actually place it in. So hit OK. So now that it's in, how do you locate it? Click the area that you that your mouse is over when you actually implemented it by clicking OK, and then hold left control, hold left mouse button, and then just drag your mouse up. Dragging your mouse up pushes the, the sound object up. Dragging it down pushes the, the sound uh, the sound down. Now, if we actually hit Enter on it, you should be able to see the name exactly what you chose, its x y z coordinates, and the very basic parameters, which is just the default. These aren't the ones that's supposed to be in this particular sound, but it gives you some default values. So where would we, where would we go to actually fill these out? Well, open up a gravity map that contains a sound. So you go to File, open from GRF, and because it's a Prontera bird sound, it's probably going to be in your Prontera map. So what you would do is let's, is let's open up the Prontera map. All right, so now that I've opened up the Prontera map, the city Prontera, right? I found the Birdo One sound, SC Birdo One. So if we, while we're still in the sound edit mode, just click the area near it, and you should see highlight red, which means you've selected it. Click Enter, and you'll, you should find that all the values are filled in, which is exactly that we need to copy. So if we hit Tab, because we are multitasking between maps, hit Enter on ours, and just pretty much fill in the same value. So if this repeat delay was four, fill in the repeat delay of four in this one and hit enter to save it. If I just typed 4 and hit OK, it, it technically it shouldn't save, but uh, it, I guess it did in this case, but it, it shouldn't. When I hit enter on it, therefore, it should just give you that extra affirmative idea that it is saved inside your, your sound file. But if we're copying you know, back and forth between values, you know, value 1, 100, and typing in 100, it just takes a very long time, and you don't want to do that. So let's get rid of this. So how would you add a sound? quickly, efficiently, and getting your map populated, you know, within a reasonable amount of time. Very simple. Global height edit, copy tool. The same method we did with uh, adding effects if you go, went to my previous tutorial. Do the same thing with adding sound. So if we wanted to add a Prontera sound, bird sound, as you can see that I've already added, but let's add a new one. Go to the map that contains it, edit mode, global height edit, and select the area, the margin of area that contains the sound file, Click C, deselect everything but sound, hit OK, click Tab to go back to your map, and then just paste it in an area that you want to put it. 
So I paste it just in the bottom right hand corner of that courtyard. Go back to sound edit and then lift it up and there it is. Now if I went to the properties by hitting enter again it's all filled out for me. So it's very simple just to do that way. And if you ever need to put let's say 20 of these things all over the place you would need to use global height edit on the same area copy it, paste in the same zone, copy that same area again, paste it and just it'll just keep multiplying or yeah, keep multiplying those sounds by a factor of two. So the first time you add, the first time you do the global height edit copy tool, it'll be two, then four, then six, then uh, eight, sixteen, and so forth. And then you just spread them around everywhere. And you know, make sure when you put when you put the, the if you put a bird tripping sounds, don't just put it in a random area. Put it by trees where you you would know nests of birds would be, or just things that make sense, right? Yeah, and then and that's it. If you ever wanted a waterfall sound go to the Brasilis uh, field that has the waterfall and just copy and paste up the waterfall sound by a waterfall effect that you added and you would now hear the waterfall sound in that area. So now that you've actually added sounds to the map you should be aware that whenever you add sounds make sure that you have every single sound added to the map that you wish to have before you save it. Why? Because after you save the map with a particular number of sounds all configured the next time you open that map, you will lose out the parameters, meaning you will still see the sounds, you'll still see this name pop up and whatnot, but if you make any changes, if you add another sound like, oh, oh, I forgot to add this one, and you add an extra one sound and then resave the map, the map will only come with that one sound. It's very weird, regardless if you could see the sound or not. I don't know why it does that, but that's what it does. So make sure you add all the sounds you need to your map before you save it, okay? So if you actually open up my tutorial map, made changes to the sounds by adding one or whatnot, you will only hear the one that you've added. So just keep that in mind. Okay? And that's pretty much sound edit for you. So next, if you were to actually take my tutorial map, add it to your map index and your Athena maps and actually testing the map out, you will hear all the chirping noises and whatnot. Just to give you that idea what it's what sound edits like. Okay? So that's sound edits and uh, Next, the next tutorial will be putting, uh, actually building a, a sky map, and hopefully you uh, you guys learn something from this. All right, you guys, take care.